Good morning. So the other week, part way into my five hour contest, I decided to try and tackle problem D early on in the set. It was an easy but annoying geometry problem, and after spending ages typing, I run samples on some huge wacky 3D case, which of course my code fails on the first try. Now in these contests, you have three people but one computer. So if your code doesn't work, it's usually a good strategy for you to print it out with a physical printer so that your teammates can use the computer while you try and find the bug in your paper copy. So I print it out and go to read through it to figure out why I'm wrong. And then as I'm walking over to the printer, I get almost all the way across the entire lab and someone from another team from my school looks over, sees that it's still printing, and is like, Jesus, David, your D is so long. I mean, your solution to that problem was like five pages. And why is that? Well, take a look at this code snippet. See anything that can be improved? Probably not. It's such cancer that your eyes have probably stopped working and decided that it's better to go blind than subject yourself to the torture of reading this nonsense, which has so many parentheses, it might as well just be lisp. But if you could read it, you'd think, why doesn't it just look like this? Beautiful and clean and intuitive. Well, because for some godforsaken reason, Java doesn't have operator overloading. Except in exactly one case strings, where they have gone completely out of their way to come up with one of the most unintuitive, entirely unpredictable pitfalls imaginable. String plus equals is linear. That's right, this code, it's n squared. You know what else is n squared? Sorting an array. No, I'm not kidding. And it's not like learning how to write an n log n sort is something that literally every programmer learns within the first few weeks of seeing Hello World for the first time. Oh wait, never mind, it is. What's that? Just use an array list instead of an array. That way we can use collections.sort instead of this steaming pile of garbage. Okay, sure. Let me just make an array list of ints. Never mind. You can't. You just have to magically sometimes spell out the full word integer because reasons that definitely aren't that typed array lists were a total afterthought that don't fit into the Java language at all. But finally, we fixed all of this nonsense that we never should have needed to deal with in the first place. It works on all samples, safe to submit, passes pretests, good. Now you can go take a breather outside, calm down. Then right in the middle of your midday picnic in the sun, you get struck by lightning, failing system tests with a wrong answer on test case 69. See, as you never would have guessed, Java secretly just gave you another black magic death trap, which you've now been forced to use because it was too incompetent to sort an array. Yeah, this code is actually totally wrong, but somehow magically works as long as the input is less than 255. Seriously. So you don't fail samples, you don't fail your unit tests, you don't even fail the stress tests that you write that test all small arrays of small numbers. Which of course has two side effects. One, the only time your code breaks is when you're using ridiculously huge and unruly numbers. And two, your code doesn't actually run any faster on max test cases, because about 0% of numbers are less than 255 anyway. And on top of all of this, you only get the privilege of complaining about these things if you've signed up for a contest which supports Java. Half of the platforms out there either don't support it at all, or if they do, require you to name your class some magic keyword, which you basically just have to guess because it's different between contests. Sometimes it might need to be main, maybe it needs to be solution, maybe it's the problem index letter, so like A, B, or C, maybe it's whatever the name of the problem is. Who knows whether it needs to be capitalized or not, the whole thing's basically just a dice roll for the number of penalty points you start out with from compile time errors every time you switch which platform you're competing on. So what am I saying? Java isn't fun. It's boring. Static. Void of meaning. So as many of you have expected, I'm finally switching to the best language for competitive programming. That's right. I'm switching to Kotlin, baby! It's fun, useful, it's got operator overloading, it's fun, no static nonsense, super clean printing, implied types, and fun, explicit fun, deep recursive DPs with just one line, lists of ints, lists that were actually designed to work without hacky workarounds and calling methods for everything. Pure fun. And one last thing. I'll see you all in Kotlin Heroes.